I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Please join the channel. I invite you to become a member to the channel. Drop super thanks and super chats to help support the content. The more support we have coming to the channel, the more time we get to spend dropping this content for you. And also, don't forget um, the TKO World Series is the base tournament. We wrapping up Monday and Wednesday this week. The semifinals, third place match, and the finals is all going down this week. So be sure to tune in for that. Other than that, bro, let's let's get it cracking and get it popping and get into our video. Look, man. Andy Cruz, Olympic gold medalist Andy Cruz, beat Keyshawn Davis multiple times in the amateurs, Andy Cruz. He signed the match room to zone. He making his debut real soon, and he's sending Keyshawn Davis a message that Keyshawn Davis need to respond to, bro. Because, see, Keyshawn pop a lot of shit. He, Andy, ain't nobody worried about Andy. You got to turn your, 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 your punches over in the amateurs, homeboy. You got to do this. You got to do that. Well, Andy Cruz say he want that fight. Andy Cruz say, oh, for real? So you 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 start, like, Andy Cruz is doing everything. Bro, again, bro, I like Keyshawn Davis. Shout out my homie Dante Hall Boxing Talk. I know he see Keyshawn Davis in this in this title. He probably going to watch the video and come in and be like, man, they'll go knock out talking about Keyshawn again. Dante, I promise I like Keyshawn, bro. I promise I do, man. It's all up. I just... I just hold it. You know how we rocking, bro. I'm holding them to the same standard. We hold everybody else too, bro. And he popping that shit about, you know what I'm saying, Andy. And Andy like, yo, you start your career off with six rounders and shit. You know what I'm saying? You starting your career off, you letting them move you and shit. You 6-0, 7-0, whatever it is. They moving you how they moving you. Your biggest and best name on your career, I'm going to fight him in my debut in the 10 rounders. I'm talking about Andy Cruz already coming out the gate trying to get opponents that's, you know what I mean, that's like opponents with the people that he want to fight. And I love the energy, bro. I love the energy. Oh, you, Juan Carlos Burgos? Oh, you, you couldn't get him out of there? Oh, Juan, Juan Carlos Burgos, he he lasted all them rounds. Would you Let me show you what I do to him. Now, we don't know if Andy Cruz is going to do Juan Carlos Burgos worse than what Keyshawn Davis did. But I just love the energy of... I want you, because he called him out, said we can get it cracking. What's up? They saying they want that fight over there at at uh at the zone. Andy Hearn talking crazy about Andy Cruz. He lit to have Andy Cruz right now, bro. So he he talking how he talking, but then he like, I right, I can't get you my debut bet. I'm going to fight one of your opponents. And that's how you run down on somebody, bro. I be trying, these boxers, man, they need to listen to your boy, man. That's how you run down on somebody. Listen. You run down on them by either A, making them give you the fight, or if they won't give you the fight, you fight everybody they fight. You fight everybody they fight, and you make them compare them to you. Straight up. You fight everybody that they fight, and you make them compare them to you. Oh, yeah? Oh, you fought Juan Carlos Burgos, but you won't fight me? Juan Carlos, I'm going to give you a shot. And then you beat his ass worse than Keyshawn Davis did. And you get in the microphone. And you say it, and then you have your translator translate in case you Andy Cruz, and maybe you ain't that good at English yet. But you say, hey, bro, Keyshawn, I beat your ass three, four, five times in the amateurs, whatever it was. Every time you thought you were about to win a big global gold medal, man, I beat your ass, and you never won that. Oh, you the silver medal champion. And I'm telling you right now in the pros, I'm going to beat your ass again since you're talking all that shit. So I'm going to fight Juan Carlos Burgos. I'm going to beat his ass worse than you, and I'm going to call you out after the fight. That's what you do if you Andy Cruz, bro. That's how you break the mold of this whole, don't nobody care about Cubans. Cubans can't sell. Cubans is Cuban. That Him and D David Morrell Jr. got a chance to break the mold with that shit. If Andy Cruz is everything that people say he is. We know he got the skills. We know he got the talent. Let's see what they're hitting for with them eights on. Let's see what they're hitting for with them eights on. And let's see what you got in the ring for 10 rounds against a veteran like Juan Carlos Burgos. I don't think he ever been stopped, bro. Off the top of my head. Mikey Garcia beat him, but I don't think he, he ain't stop him. Juan Carlos Burgos be giving everybody rounds, bro. That's a tough-ass dude. 
if Andy Cruz style on him and get him out of there when all them other dudes can't. What the homie say on uh one of one of my favorite uh one of my favorite bars on when I used to watch rap battle, the homie said uh what do you say, bro? Oh yeah, yeah, Andy Cruz, like Andy Cruz, stop old buddy, bro. If you stop Juan Carlos Burgos, bro, and Keyshawn couldn't, Mikey Garcia couldn't, all the fighters that Juan Carlos Burgos lost to couldn't stop him, but he stopped him. Andy Cruz in his debut. Listen, man, it's like cheating on a math test, man. You got a problem on your hands. Hey, boy, give me every time. Hey, Andy Cruz a problem, bro. If he stopped one Carlos Burgos before 10 rounds is up, man. Because that dude go to distance and be competitive and be throwing blows with everybody, bro. Multiple division champions, hot prospects, bro. He done seen them all. And he always going to distance with people, bro. Let me, man. Damn, my, my computer in the other room. I was going to pull that shit up, bro. But I know Mikey Garcia for sure. Keyshawn Davis for sure off the top of my head, man. Yeah, but that, that's that shit, man. He a problem, bro. Like cheating on the math test. Boxing got a problem on their hands, bro. Remember you cheat on your math? You used to write the answer on your hand when you was a kid and shit. Try to cheat. Y'all didn't do that shit. Maybe y'all was good at math, bro. I don't know. But I'm excited for this addition to the lightweight division, bro. When you look at the talent pool at 135, 140, if these dudes mix it up, man. If all these dudes from 135, 140 mix it up and they all hovering around the same age, I'm talking between the age of 24 and 29 years old right now, bro. Just like off the dome, right? From 135, 140. These younger guys. These younger guys. Josh Taylor a little bit older, so I ain't going to include him, bro. You got Subriel Matisse. You got Teofimo Lopez. You got Tiger Johnson. You got Richardson Hitchens. I ain't going to include Regis either because he older. We know they got the smoke. We know they got the smoke. But just think about what we could be on the cusp of at 135, 140 if all these dudes start fighting each other and mix it up, bro. So as I said, Teofimo Lopez, Subriel Matias, Tiger Johnson, uh, Teofimo Lopez. Richardson Hitchens, bro. Javante Tank Davis. Frank Martin. Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney. Keyshawn Davis. Okay? That's 10 people. Raymond Murray Tyler, bro. Uh, she. Abdullah Mason. Like, bro, that's 12, that's 12 fighters from 135, 140 that just look like they it. That they could be champions and multiple division champions. And, bro, we didn't even include Josh Taylor, Regis Progray, Vasil Lomachenko. Did I, did I say Frank Martin? Add his ass to him. I said, bro, with Andy Cruz, bro, it's like 14, 15 dogs, bro. And I want to see who come out on top. I think I know who it's going to be. And they all young, like Abdullah Mason, 19, so he probably a generation behind. But I'm just saying, bro, 24 to 30, 31 years old, bro, it's some, it's some killers, bro. And these promoters, man, they need to have a tournament around this motherfucker. They need to holler at me and let me put together a tournament, bro. I had that shit cracking. I had that shit cracking, but boxing is in a good place, bro. Andy Cruz is adding to what could become... A golden era. And who knows? He could be the best out of all of them with that amateur pedigree. And uh, and, and the way that they looking to move him, they already put him in 10-round fights. He over there working out in the gym with Bozy in it. So working with Jerome Boutinis, it's only going to make him better. It's only going to make Jerome Boutinis better and that team over there, man. Um, it could be a problem, bro. It could be a problem. But he definitely sending Keyshawn Davis a message. When he first got over here and signed the match room, he let Keyshawn know he wanted to fight him. And now he um, and now he fighting a coming opponent. It's it's very clear who Andy Cruz is going for. So if you keep showing Davis, and you just love to fight like you say, this the pros. This ain't the amateur. He be slapping with his punches. This shit different like you say. You want all the wreck, all the smoke with everybody except Shakur Stevenson, like you say. Why not go in there with somebody that done already beat you multiple times and, and right that wrong, bro? And then if y'all really who y'all say y'all gonna be, if y'all really the good, maybe we can get a trilogy out of y'all. 
Maybe y'all can fight four times. Maybe y'all can be Pacquiao Marquez, bro. Morales Barrera, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe y'all can do some shit like that, man. I'm just saying this. Sound like a plan to me. Sound like a winner to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.